In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very useful slide uh, for five steps business process. And when I click, it will show you the first step, which is uh, the employee or the businessman is getting ready for the race. Then it should say the next step. Then it started running. The third step is running more faster. And ultimately, he reached his destination. So this is a very good slide for you in your day-to-day -day presentations. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray fill. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle from one end to the other end, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline. Go to insert again shapes under block arrows select this one which is arrow chevron just maybe this much size i'll reduce the width something like this and you can just reduce this much shape outline make it no outline and give some different color and just put it here Press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to add four of these chevron arrows. So one, two, three, and four. And make sure that there's an equal spacing between the arrows. For that, I'm just going to select this chevron arrows. Go to Align and Distribute Horizontally. Then I'm going to highlight all the objects which I have created and go to format merge shapes just say a fragment in 2010 version you have to enable the merge options by going to the file options menu and in the new version it is already available so i'm just going to select this fragment now and let me just delete i'll just select this part again like this and i'll click the delete button so you can see here I have got different shapes selected. Now I'm going to give the color for each object. Select the first object, go to shape fill and let me just give some color to it. I'll start with maybe somewhat darker color. Then I'll select this. You can just choose any color of your choice. And let me just select this color. And lastly, I'm going to select a kind of a green color, which is the finishing line. Then go to insert, select icons. And I'm going to select few icons from here. For example, I'm just going to select one icon, which is, or I can just directly go to people also. I can just select from here. You can see here it's people here. So I'm going to select one, two, three, and four, and click on insert button. So you can see here all uh, this has been inserted. I'm just going to increase the size from 1.5 from 1 to 1.5. And you can see here I have got. So obviously this will be my number one icon. Then he started making running. So this is my third again I'm going to copy this for fourth and this I'm going for fifth but you can see here the icons for fourth and fifth sorry third and fourth is same so I'm just going to do a small shape I'm going to add it just make it fully curved Give
give black color no outline add one more just reduce the size I'm just going to select this and put it here so that you can see it is running more faster now and the next step is you can give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes and select some oval shape something like this shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and say gradient fill by default I have selected this so I've just selected the radial and direction I have selected this one from center and this I have selected 200% and the black one to a 49% or 45% transparent I'm just going to put it here and if you want you can just go to effects soft adjust you can just increase the soft adjust like this and just put it here control D put one more here and the last I'm just going to copy it here so you can see here our design is almost ready for this part so I'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl A and if you want you can just bring this down till here and just make sure that this is all aligned properly some are not aligned so you have to make sure that this is all align it properly let me just go to format align I'll just say bottom and the shadow also I need to just adjust it I'm going to add one line here for that go to insert shapes select a line or draw a line from here and hold the shift key while drawing the line and shape outline I'm just going to give some gray color and shape outline go to dashes and select this which is dash and then let me just put the text here I'll say 0 1 century gothic I'll just make it bold and color I'm just going to use the same color which I have used here and let me just increase the size and put it here add one more text for the title and if you want you can give more detailed text to it so let me just go with this only and give some gray color I will group this both the text control G to group it now I'm just going to copy this one the line and the text control D to duplicate it just put it here control D so you can see here I'm just adding it all one by one and make sure that 
this is properly aligned and then you can just change the text so this is something I think down yeah two three four and five and then again you can just change the text slowly one by one so for this I'm going to use this color or you can simply use the eyedropper also that will be more easier all right now you can see here our design is ready if you would like to do the animation you can add very simple animations to it let me just give you one example of the animation and you can just simply copy and paste the animation to all other objects first go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first shape i'll just say add animation go to more entrance effects and i will say stretch click ok and effect options just say from left so it comes like this then I'm going to select this person or this icon if you want you can just say fly in or if you like to do something else also you can just go there let me just select the same stretch and I will just say from bottom it comes like this after previous then I'm going to select the shadow I will use the fade and this also after previous then the line comes the line again I'm going to select the same stretch it should be from bottom this also after previous and then this text again text if you want you can give a wipe effect or you can give the same animation effect which is stretch from left and this is also after previous so if I play it comes like this now it's easy for me to copy the animation I'm just going to select this first animation painter click on this then I select this icon animation painter the icon so follow the sequence always then the shadow animation painter the shadow the line and the last text so you can see here it's very simple I've just copied the animation if I play all so this will come first so like this you can just copy the animation to rest of the objects That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.